Sheesh. Okay, the real question is, Ivan's been number two for like months. Sheesh. Why hey, doesn't he have I any feel, shows? Damn, I have like, never heard about a show for Ivan in California. I do not think he's had a show since this album came out. I think that if he does the Toyota Arena, since he hasn't had any shows, sell out. he could sell out. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Talking about like I'll say the two, Ramon's not in under no more. Hey, let group read last DM. <laughs> Yeah! Yeah! All right, moving on. Angel, step the f out. Ricky, come in. Ricky, Ricky, come in. Ricky, yeah, step the out. Man. Okay. Balloon step bit. out. Ricky, come in. Take his spot. Fur balloon head. Hey, step out. Take a break. Hey, oh take God. a break. And Dodo take a break. Sub in, in, sub in, out. Ricky. Get take the fuck a out. fucking break. Get out of here, you know. bitch. Take Think a about what you did. man. Take a Guys, I'm sorry. She's a bitch. <sighs> <laughs> Angel, <laughs> <Be loud. laughs> we're gonna talk about uh, Aldo Trujillo faking his death for I don't know what the fuck. And we're gonna be more open, so we don't go. Yeah, fuck that bitch. Yo, we don't even. What's up, guys? Welcome back to another video. Thank you guys so much for all the support from the last Thank episode with the Inter de Patrones. We got a lot of good feedback. Of we good just wanted to announce that our merch drop is out shop at gustovapa.com you guys can get these hoodies we have a black one it's completely sold out we have pink almost sold out these are actually almost sold out in some sizes so make sure you guys cop it this is ricky's this is not mine we don't even have some for ourselves because honestly we're just trying to sell it make sure you guys get it it's the winter's coming stay warm these shits are fucking nice as fuck and we also have t-shirts but yeah enjoy the video peace out What's up, guys? Welcome to season two, episode number episode number two of Augusto Baba podcast. This is the first episode. It's the second episode, but like it's the first one where it's just us. We're in our new set. It's complete. Look at the neon light that we spent almost a thousand dollars and it doesn't fucking turn on. Those lights, a bunch of nice decorations. I'm not gonna lie. When this light goes on, it really changes. It was magical. The whole atmosphere. It was magical. It, it looks really nice. We have some nice decorations right here. Just random stuff of Mexico flag. The, what's that shit called? Cause? Oh yeah, low cause figures. That look like you. Uh, boots. <laughs> and cactuses. The, who remembers that Taquacha right there? Only the real one. Only the, the real Only the real ones. The, the Taquacha was here before me. The TikTok. The TikTok days, if you guys remember, Damn. are upcoming. That was part of it. A random Agush Baba hat. And you guys want to explain what this is? Oh. No, I, I thought we were gonna. I think. I thought we were gonna talk about Agush. We're gonna talk about the new member. Agustin Guzman. The new Loera. member. What the fuck? I forgot. Guys, we have a pet. We want to introduce you to Agustin Guzman Loera Cano right here. Damn. My boy. That fool living it up in there. I'm about to take a piss. You got to. That's <laughs> fucked up. <laughs> no, that was cute. That's kind of messed up. I'm calling Pita on your ass. Pita. <laughs> Pita? Dude, if I come back and that thing is, does not look happy is, <laughs> and the water oh, looks a little bit yellow. The fish is happy. My bad. He looks like you fucking. Uh, uh, no, uh, no expressions. <laughs> The fish deserves happiness. <laughs> pursuit of happiness. Wait, what's up, guys? Just well, right? Yeah. Well, anyway, we, and we put, Agustin? <laughs> we put mm. a few seeds in there. We thought it was going to be already the, the plant, but I guess it was just the seeds. So hopefully they grow. And we're buying another liter of beta fish water so we could fill it up all the way. But yeah. And a boot in there because he's ranchero. Yeah, but he's ranchero. We bought him straight from Michoacan. And it's actually uh, a little underwater group. version of Picolandia. Su grupo, fav <laughs> su grupo <laughs> favorito es grupo arriesgado. Yep. Yeah. Le that, gustan los aguachiles. Yeah, he's, he's pulling hello. Y le gusta hacer policiacas. <laughs> Ay, emprendido. Si se porta mal, we turn him into a fucking... Le da sus no, palazos. Si se porta mal, I take a shit in there. <laughs> You're being weird, dude. Yeah, like, yeah, you're a little sus today. Why, nah, just kidding. Why you want to just use the toilet. But then, as always, I want to say thank you guys. I don't know. I feel like I always have to say thank you because, you know, this podcast has come a long way. As you guys can tell, the whole environment is changing. Our ideas are changing. You know, as time goes on, we're learning to progress. We're learning to be better. We're learning to talk. Echo, how to ask better questions and not say like every five seconds. But like I said, we all have our pros and cons like <laughs> but <laughs> we're we here like and we're all present and we're in le estamos echando ganas gracias a dios and shout out to the fans thank you guys for everything we promise we're gonna get way better at this shit um oh and then that that spinny shit so if you guys follow us on instagram which you guys should follow us on instagram I wish about our podcast, right we ask you guys to give us dares we chose a few dares and we're gonna spin this shit at the beginning of every episode and then do the dares during the break? I mean, after the first break? Or after, what? I think after the... After, I think <laughs> after every, every, Look, every lick break. Angel's flat foot. Um, Be shirtless for 10 minutes. Like mata patas. Let 
Group read your last DM. Fuck. Yeah, fuck. Yeah, you fuck. know. Fucking bitch. I'm gonna clear it. I'm gonna clear it. What else does it say? I don't have Instagram anymore. I deleted it. Kiss the person on your left. So yeah, guys. Nah, just no, kidding. Man. But yeah, if you guys want to be part of this, you know, if you want to see your your dare up here, make sure you follow us on Instagram. And for next week, you could be up here. Wait, did I already say this shit? No. Uh, no, this is something that we think is going to change podcasts and is going to set us apart. And you guys saw here at first. Right here, we have the charts of... The Latin Apple Music charts. Yeah, Latin Top Apple 10. Music charts. Oh. I don't know if I could say Apple Music. Well, it was but 15, but... Yeah, it was 15, but right now we're doing 10. It's the very first time we do it. And, you know, we know that artists like to talk shit sometimes. <laughs> yep. But I think that numbers speak louder than words and indirectas on Instagram. Yep, yep, So, yep. we're going to go with this. Unless you pay for streams. Yeah. So, numbers don't lie. We'll see who's on top of who, who's at the bottom, who didn't make it to the charts, who we didn't even notice that dropped an album. Yep. Para que se pongan pilas, para que salgan acá y para que la gente vea que andan con todo. Yup, I think we're going to be mentioning the, the Apple charts every, every week. Every week. Yeah. So you guys can see what changes. or sometimes It's a weekly update. It's a weekly update. Sometimes there's major changes. Sometimes there's not. Like Bad Bunny been at the top since like he dropped the album. Bad Bunny been at the top. Oh, Damn, God. are you getting bricked up? <laughs> Seeing Bad Bunny up there. <laughs> hey, but Jesus is a Bad hey, Bunny cocksucker. Like three yeah. Gog, gog. But no, nah, I think it's dope to see a visual representation of what it is. I think it looks so colorful. It looks so nice. It, yeah, honestly, like it looks really cool. Oh, yeah, guys. Oh. So it goes from left to right. So Bad Bunny won. Ivan second. Third, fourth. And so on and so forth. Hey, um, I think the patrones had a, a good comeback. Like they yeah. dropped, they went yep. made it to the charts. Not First like day others. that they made it on the charts. Not like who? Not like others. They were at two. And then like not like guitarra. who? Nafu never made it on top. That's 10. crazy, guys. And then like guitar dropped the. Uh, Comment down below what ta- what do you think he ended up at? I don't think he cracked the top hundred. And they're so bad they took it. Well, we actually checked. It was one fifty, <laughs> right? One fifty one when I checked. Yeah, like three or four days after. I didn't even know he dropped. That's uh, tough, honestly, but. That's the reality of what it is, you know? Yeah, because you you have Herencia Patrones and him, like, they both didn't drop music for, like, two years. What's the difference between making a strong comeback and being anticipation? The difference. Opposed to everybody forgetting about you. The difference you is that Herencia came to the podcast. Yup. Uh, mm-hmm. Hey, I think that's... Yeah, you guys, you guys got to add us to your PR list. Bro, when Herencia came... It, oh, that, was, that was a cool experience. I think that was a once in a lifetime experience to have Herencia, you know, some people like artists that we look up to, let alone to a podcast that we created, you know. And I think that's we got a lot of good feedback. So shout out to everyone. Thank you yeah, for the thank good you feedback. Guys. We have some haters, like some just random stupid comments. I was really nervous. I'm not what was lie. one of the haters? What did they say? The all oh, the intrinsic questions that we ask questions like an eighth grader. <laughs> yeah, we do. We're get, we're working on it though. I was so faded that day. I told Ricky like 2010s, I was so stoned. Guys, yeah. if you get, well, Keiko, you know, he doesn't get really give context, but <laughs> when Herencia uh, came on, well, they got to go watch the podcast. So they they got to go watch it. Um, JD bought his rigs and we took some, what are they called, derbies? No, you said Derby. these. <laughs> yeah, no, it's uh, the rig is called a Darby. A Darby, man. Like bad. that's the brand of, that's like the guy that makes them mm-hmm. and you take dabs. Yeah, we take we took dabs and that shit, but you took dabs. Fucking. I it, think it It was pretty it, hard You took the weakest hit like You talked so much shit And you took the weakest hit Well yeah but I'm the lightweight Gecko took the fattest hit though. No, I took the best one I yeah. took the second weakest It was it was so funny Looking what, at you like what, Struggled to not fall off huh? the couch took a bigger Dude I was I like the same uh, so. Almost No I think I, I was, took a I was nervous one. though Cause I was nervous Because I just didn't want I feel like Diego Always gets nervous For his first time With everything Especially like when it has to do With like Smoking and stuff like that Cause like honestly You're more of a natural no, but I just feel like I don't I don't let my mind get to me as fast, you know, but I could understand why he was fucking panicking, you know, because it's like dabs. It's more like a concentrated type of. um. Yeah, because I just heard, I just heard like bad shit like, oh, my God, I took a dab and I threw up. Yeah, I heard yeah. that, too. Oh, yeah, I feel like they're really hyped, but, it up, was, but it was it's not good. it's not crazy, crazy. It's probably just like three or four times the strength of like. Just hitting a joint. Supposedly, it's like the pure thing, right? Like the it's yeah. If pure. anything, it's healthy. More, and JD, JD brought like the good shit. Yeah. Yeah, like yeah. top of the line. I mean, I don't know how to explain it, but I know that it's hardest. Like, it's not even like they offer it to you. Like, if you want to buy, it's not like oh, I want to go buy this because they make like small batches of the flavors and stuff. And it's kind of like if you have it the one time and then they don't really make it again. Yeah, and they I, have like their own little culture going on. No, for sure, for sure, the whole like smoking culture. And I think it was good that we smoke 
dabs for the first time with them because they knew exactly how much to give us, you know. Yeah. And there it was more like a controlled environment, you know, where we weren't gonna panic and shit. Like and I had told my parents in advance, you know, that I that and I smoked and stuff. That got in trouble. And I got in trouble. But I, I showed my mom. You showed your mom? Yeah. What did your mom say? She was like, I mean ho. That's it. <laughs> uh, no, I feel like the only shit that, that fucking like fucked me up was when I took I inhaled that shit like it was fucking. You did, bro. Dude, Kekka, oh, like, you took it all the way shit. to the stomach. Yeah, Dude, Kekka does yeah. shit that shit all the time, but it's so fucking fun. It was like my birthday party too. What? My, your birthday party? When I was asking you to take a shot, and you're like, no, no, I'm not gonna take a shot. Okay, fine. And after that, I'm not taking any more shots until like, the girl that I brought comes. I mean, the girl that I invited comes. And then he takes the fucking fattest shot, dude. He does take the no one asked shot. him to do that. No, the, but the fattest, fattest shot was uh, Nelly's birthday party. You took like, oh yeah, it must have been like, <laughs> oh dude, that eight was the, ounces. That was the biggest regret. It was man. like half a water bottle, guys. I do, I am not kidding you. That was hey, nuts. You guys want to know why he took it? And he did not make it un- until the girl that got there showed up. Oh yeah, that was hey, you want to know? I why? mean, that, that invited he invited. <laughs> well, he didn't even know he invited people. But. <laughs> I did it. You guys want to know oh, why wow, Keiko so took the shot? Because you lied to him. You told him that it was for Pedro's story. Yeah. Uh, yeah, because Pedro, my phone. Pedro was, was holding a phone my and he was recording him. And I was like, hey, take a shot, take a shot. And then Pedro was ready to start recording once he started taking the shot. And he was like, bet. He thought he was going to get the tag. But nah, Pedro was holding his phone. And he was actually looked through his DMs. And even Pedro was impressed with how much work you were putting in. <laughs> <laughs> he did, he did, he did. <laughs> the problem. Talking about Pedro, guys, this La Buena Armado has a concert tomorrow. We're going to go on stage with them. <laughs> Danny looks is going to be there. Ivan Cornejo, oh um, Sara Silva. They're, they're a special guest. No one knows. We know. We're saying it because, you know, by the time. By the time you're watching up. this, it happened on Saturday. And we're going to go on stage. On Friday. I'm fucking nervous. We don't have a plan yet. We're raw dogging it. Yeah. Yeah. Nine minutes. We have nine minutes of, you know. I would yeah. just told that we're closing the show with them. We need to have something prepared. <laughs> start, sw- start mopping the floor. <laughs> <laughs> hey, but I want to know in the comments, like if Eslavon told you, hey, you guys have nine minutes to do whatever you guys want. And like, just say you have a group of friends. Like, what would you guys do? Comment down. Yeah, because it's like, what the right fuck now, do we like, do? What the fuck do you do, you know? Like, we, we don't know how to dance. We don't know how to sing. Like, the last time we took out Sophia. So it's like. By the way, Sophia is get going to dress. Yeah. Yo, that's his if, character. Yeah. Have you watched that? I'll probably upload it on my YouTube channel if Diego gives me the clips. So that'll update you guys. If not, we'll fucking read it. If not, it. just link it on the bottom. Nah. No but I'm. Um, okay, what song are you guys most excited to hear? Hasta la muerte. Hasta la muerte. Me too. <laughs> Dude, that, when I Yo first heard that song, like. Loki, I cried. I think I, I, I hopefully, like, I'm a couple of drinks in and the, the song is. Are we, are we going to get drunk tomorrow? No, I don't know. I'm a drive. I know you're not dr- you drinking. You I don't drink like to drink. Shit. Actually, no, I can't drink. Me neither. It's because I feel like well, I have I the drink. same amount drink. of fun without drinking, and then I don't. The have next the day, I feel good. I don't. I, I don't feel the same amount of. I don't have the same amount of fun, but I can't drink no more. We went to Beagle, I and I couldn't drink. I can't drink anymore. Beagle, I just drink pure Sprite. I yeah, took me one too. shot. I just drink pure Sprite. I took one shot and I told him, like, go get me a Sprite, dog. My mouth was getting watery as fuck. Damn, but, he's but, your butler or what? No, I That's asked him like oh, Ricky, don't be... Yeah, Ricky. Ricky, I asked you as a favor, no? No, it was no. like, Ricky, go on. Like, Ricky, go get me a Sprite. That's fucked up. Hey, you need to fix your manners. With I said, play dick. I hey, for those that dick. don't know, Gecko is so fucking rude. To you guys. No, 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 no. You're rude. You to just you you're rude, but you don't know that you're being rude. To you guys. I'm nice. It, it, it's kind of funny. It's kind of you're funny because like no, I look when, no, pe- when, pe- when people respectful. meet you in person. I feel like you kind of like they're like, what the fuck? This was all shy and shit. But like on the podcast, you're more. Nah. Like, yeah. Because I, I, I mean, no, think no, that's no, me. No, Keiko gets shy. He does. Yeah. No, no. Sometimes, sometimes, I, I sometimes. In, in a big, in a big group, I get shy. But so if he's still like, recording like, you, oh, then you get all. And then he'd be like, hey, look, You I'm know what Keiko does when he gets shy? He does a little. Yeah, the shoulder shit. Yeah, little shoulder. Like, yeah. He's a turtle. He's about yeah, to hide. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to hide. I don't know. I don't know why the fuck that shit is. But then once fucking lights go on, yeah. Pinch it. Once you get what do you mean lights go on? Once it's like, once he gets comfortable. No, no. Once, he, ha- when he, once he has the attention. Nah. I yeah, don't shit, you love attention, bitch. Nah, Dude, you love attention. There's nothing wrong with it. Nah, it's But there's nothing wrong with it. Dude, Actually, nervous. there's something wrong with it. Just kidding. I am nervous for tomorrow. And or then Angel, if you guys meet him in person, he'll mad dog the shit out of oh, you. Oh, yeah. We already talked to him like, bro, quítate esa cara. Some girl cara de a la esa verga. cara de finis and fur balloon. <laughs> <laughs> Don't look it up, <laughs> Look guys. it up. Like, literally, we're at concert Angel. Like, <laughs> Dude, you know what was funny? One time a fan came up. He's like, oh, my God, I love the podcast. And he was like, 
Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> bro. Like that. Like ask for their name, where they're from. Like, like, like make convos. Like, what? You fuck with it? Cool. Okay. Listen, I'm still not used to it. I'm not. I've never thought in my whole life somebody's gonna ask me for a picture. But we're then, not. We, we all started together. No, I know, but you guys are more naturals. But I'm a natural. And then people ask for a picture, and I only think about like, okay, take a picture. But Dude, I don't think about like being nice. Sometimes he doesn't. Get not that I'm not a nice. Us, huh? Do you guys notice it? Yeah. I mean, I do that too. I do that. He, he not just, that I'm not a nice person, no. but I don't know how to. I don't know how that interaction goes. No, dude, we were at the records. Uh, we went to like the Slavon and Mother oh, press conference. Dude, some dude goes up or he like says what's up to Angel and he's talking to him. And Angel doesn't fucking like talk to him back. He's like. I know it's because. And I was, what just like, I was just like, what the no, fuck? No, I wasn't being doing? a. It, it's because this is what happened. I was sitting down and you were <laughs> next to me standing, recording in that direction. Then there's an, a guy right there that I don't know who he is, right? And then he doesn't say like anything. He's just grabs his camera and he starts recording but for, well, he first he went like this to yeah and he starts recording me so i don't know if like i'm supposed to say hi or am i supposed to like kind of like wait he doesn't do shit he's just like he's just still like a so yeah because he just starts recording me now and he goes like I, I don't know what to do what am i supposed to do yeah but then like minutes later like i guess we went to the bathroom because the records like has like new bathrooms and then we went out and he oh they're nice angel, and angel ignores them and I told him, like, dude, why do you, why did you ignore him? He's like, dude, I don't know what you're saying. He's like that. He's a dick. Even when we no, go, I'm not a dick. When we go to parties, I, I don't even know how to talk to the people I know. He's the same shit. Like, I had to fucking start this, this fucking conversation for him. That's the worst wingman ever. <laughs> what? I said that's the worst wingman ever. How if I'm helping him out? I'm the wingman for him. Do you feel like it's helping? No, I'm you? saying it's the other what? way around. Oh, yeah. Like, as what? Do you think it's help? Like, let's just remember when Galvancillo went up to you, he was like, Hablale, acércate. <laughs> <laughs> that was so uh, Guys, uh, no, it's because I look like, like I'm real. really bad at communicating, but you guys got to see where I come from, where I started. Okay. I know a lot of, maybe a lot Branches. of you guys could also relate to not being able to talk to people, but then all of a sudden you're in these situations where you have to talk to people that you don't know, you have to keep up a conversation, or you have to start the conversation yourself when people are just like kind of looking at you, and it's tough. And then, like, that time, I just put myself in, like, that situation, you know? Like, it wasn't, I shouldn't have. But we went to a party, <laughs> and there was, like, this girl I was trying to talk to that I was sitting next to. Five, and six feet away. Yeah, yeah. So we're sitting at the table, and this is me, and that's, like, her. But we weren't even saying anything, and we were just kind of sitting there. And I know I was lacking, you know? Like, I should have said something. And then Galvancillo passes by. Pero háblale. Siéntate un lado de ella. Bro. And, and he was right, though. He was right. I was lacking, but... It, it's tough. It's Damn. tough. We, we, we working on that. We all got something we'll work on, but it's funny, you know? Obviously, you always have to adapt to, like, new experiences, you know? And, you know... No, but it's because see the huge difference of maybe I was struggling to talk to three people in a room, and then you guys got to see all the crazy stuff we're doing, like, tomorrow that we have to go in front of a few thousand people. Dude, when they told... <laughs> wait, when so we, it's like... <laughs> when we're, and when we're so at the like records, a, and they told us that we're going to go on stage, we didn't know. Because, like, oh, you, there's, like, a schedule, and you guys are on there. Like, it says Agusto on stage. Dude, this motherfucker was, like, planning to not show up. No, <laughs> dude, we're like, don't even give me a mic. I felt like throwing up. <laughs> <laughs> That's that going to be crazy. Honestly, that is... That was crazy. You, you know, one thing I'm scared of, my voice cracking. Uh, uh, hey, that shit cracked at, at the microphone. We're not giving you the microphone. What's Good. the capacity at the venue? 10,000. 11,000? Um, for tomorrow's event, eight. I love it. Did it sell out? Not yet. Damn. They that's got crazy. a day. To sell Everybody out. reaching your tickets. Don't show up. Don't watch us. Why Please. do you guys... What? Doesn't... Does Marca me pay so more than Eslabón? They do bigger venues. I think they do. But Eslabón has more shows, right? Eslabón has yeah. more shows and Eslabón's out more stream. As we could see on our trusty chart that we invented, it's doing better than Marca. Marca and they dropped it so before Marca, they did. So okay, but two, the... Two, three, four, five, I think the good question is... Ten? There are eleven? Wait, hold up. One, two, three, four, five, six, nine, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. What the fuck, we have twelve? Yeah, so yesterday they were at tenth. Today they're at eleventh. So, Marca Mepe dropped their album sooner. Okay. They went down faster to eleven. They're holding on super strong to fifth place after like three months. But... This album does bigger shows. Okay, the real question is, Ivan's been number two for like months. Sheesh. Why hey, doesn't he have I any feel, shows? Damn, and I feel so dumb yep, because yep. the day we saw Manelli, he was he was telling me some stuff and talking about his album, and that was like, and that was the same week that 
um it's like one dropped it and i was like damn you know i think if you just wait like you know maybe like two months and then it's like one's album comes down a little bit like you can beat them and he i feel so dumb because he beat him by a long 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 shot bro he's been up there for like only bro. bad bunny is on top of him i think first of all congrats ivan yeah you're it's a young, huge issue, <laughs> you're you're young you're making good music and i you know this is a little bit more personal but i know you're taking care of your family and shit you know financially but i think he's really really doing it right now like he's fucking like living the dream i think right now is when he needs to have shows but right now is where he needs to like have bro you're above it's labon right now and it's labon's like doing shows yeah it's people. labon's milking it and i like, have never heard about a show for ivan in california i don't think has he had any shows? correct me but i do not think he's had a show since this album came out aside from like a release party that i think it was a listening party because i don't think he performed any song oh at clutch bar in houston we should ask him oh. or montana hey, sure. you guys we down should, huh we should all clutch bar? hey but because you can't wait forever you can't nah. wait forever to have shows nah you don't know how long it's gonna last. well it's because i feel like it's like you know stepping up to the plate playing baseball hitting a home run and not running not taking advantage you gotta do shows yeah I, like I, I don't know if you guys notice this but like a lot of the major artists in the industry they drop an album it does numbers and then they go on tour and then they repeat the cycle yeah they drop an album and they go on tour obviously um as la has been doing it that's crazy He's bad bunny obviously two. been doing it he could do it um rosalia has been doing it too <laughs> Uh, uh so 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 uh rao he's been doing two so they drop albums and then boom plan a tour and then they're, i think the same i think thing. that's like the cycle of an active artist they do like a single the album announce the tour dates try to sell some merch so much at the events do that and then repeat but you think some groups burn themselves out by doing like too many shows in the same city like who like a slab one like you think it's too much yeah like for example they play today they play this month or yeah this month in north carolina damn i see i see why you have a, a personal <laughs> attachment to why them. north carolina <laughs> why does that bother you so much that they go to north carolina why did they have to go and then they but go why are they, they burning themselves <laughs> oh my God. Like, move on go to south carolina and then they're going like, they're going again in september which is next month <laughs> <laughs> so, You're so like, fresh, are, wait, are you mad that they're touring or they're just what? going to South Carolina? South Carolina is like, why are you mad to choose me? North Carolina. I mean, North Carolina. North Carolina. Okay. Good question. Hmm. You think it's better to play uh, three shows that 4,000 people go or one show that 10,000 people go? Mm. Mm. So you're basically asking, would you rather do what Slamon's doing or what Marca Mepe is doing? Yeah. Oh, that's a really good question. Well, I would I would say what Slavon's doing. Nah. They're making more money. Oh yeah, they they're definitely making more money. But you think, think they're making it? more money? Yeah. The Marca, hell yeah. But I think Marca. Oh, actually, I don't. Putting, know. I don't know. I don't know. It, well, yeah, we, it depends. Because yeah. for example, right here at the Toyota Arena, the tickets were what one twenty, and at the like smaller venues is like sixty bucks, forty bucks. You know what? Tanta gente que at a big event. Wait, Marca has shows every weekend too, huh? Mm-hmm. Oh, there damn, are like I, a big venues. That, that that's like some serious. Wait, has Marca pl played at the Toyota Arena? Yeah, sold out. Yeah, they sold, sold it out. out. They sold it out, and they're gonna play at the maybe crypto like arena, right? four months ago. Crypto Arena is twenty five k people. I don't know, but that's huge. That's huge. Bro. That's huge. And I I know this might be a little bit out of context, but Forza Regida is also going to the crypto. Oh, so yeah. two Shit. big major artists in the same month. The crypto. No. December. Forza uh, Regida. November twenty third. And uh, Marca Mepe, and I think those are the first two. Hey, y'all didn't answer my question. Never mind, though. I lied. Oh, yeah, yeah, um, damn. Yeah, well, I mean, he said he wants to do a one. I think what Marco Mepe is doing, it's it's also good, and I'd, I'd rather do that because... I think it's smarter. It's It looks better to say, oh, we did the crypto arena than we did five small shows. It, I think, in my humble but opinion. It, but, it, but I feel like it also looks better when you're on top of the charts. Like, Yep like numbers also like streams and shit. yeah because i mean that's a, a predicament right there because yeah but they're doing better on streams and they do better on real life and i think also what's going on is that marca mepe's audience is a little broader and older yeah so we did see like when we went to the lano they said oh thank you to the parents that brought their kids to see 
So a bunch of young kids. Imagine a hundred kids ask their dad, "Hey, can you take me?" Meaning, "Hey, can you buy a ticket for you, a ticket for me, and drive me there and sit and watch, even if you're not interested in this?" Compared to, you know, some twenty-two, twenty-five-year-olds that say, let's "Hey, go. let's go," but yeah, buy the ticket, but. Hey, so you think yeah. that that affects it too? And I think I have a, like your age group. I think yeah, so. It does. It, it's yeah, it is because Marga does drop corridos, and guys l- like a lot of their corridos. Yeah. Islam yeah. doesn't really drop corridos. Like I kind of But then the age group doesn't matter for for streaming music, so that's why they're on top. And that I think that brings me to the next question: What do you think is more lucrative, streams or? That's a great question. Or shows, and I don't have an answer. Me neither. <laughs> if you see Gecko's face do that, that means what the fuck did he just say? <laughs> <laughs> lucrative yeah. means like, ludicrous. So <laughs> what? What? Ma- what do you think makes more money? Being number four and doing smaller shows, or being number eleven and doing the crypto arena? Yeah. But I mean, it's I like know. I think the Slavon because the crypto arena is once. Yeah. Yeah, but then you also create that exclusiveness. I think it's more like prestige. Yeah. You know, because saying. Last month we did Crypto Arena. I mean the you're right, you're right, you're right. I agree with you, but I think the ideal position to be is to be on top of the the top of the the charts and filling up arenas, which is the hardest thing to do, you know. Respect to both. Damn, do players. you guys think that Ivan's uh Ivan fans, probably, probably Ivan's fans are the same age as Isla mm-hmm. or a little bit older? I think they're the same same, same, same. age. So do you? Th- uh, I think that if he does the Toyota Arena, since he hasn't had any shows, sell out. He could sell out. Yeah. Uh, and if you do go, let go us introduce you. Microsoft. He could sell uh, out. I think Microsoft. he could do it. Microsoft, yeah. Microsoft, yeah. I For think. Sure. Yeah. Did Junior? Yeah. Did Junior sell out the uh, when he dropped his album in February? <laughs> um, <laughs> I don't know, but I know what he did do. That is Lebron. It's Lebron. <laughs> <laughs> it's Lebron. <laughs> Lebron is doing it, the different is that. Junior Atchet, when his album was gonna drop, he did obviously a tour. Uh, he did a tour. He did a date at the Microsoft Theater, but he did not have any around shows around, around the perimeter of Los Angeles. So he specifically wanted people to drive to LA. Yeah, yeah. It and, was, then we, and we talked to Jimmy, and he he said that that was also planned. Like, okay, yeah, yeah, that it was have, a plan. Cause it was a plan to kind of avoid this area with a smaller show that could prevent that big venue from being filled up. From people that already went to a show, mm-hmm. and I feel like that's that's like another good another thing that I was trying to say. Like, pa que vas a jugar and like, for example, jugar. They play. Jugar they, y sufrir. They played at uh, tocar. De Ilano. Uh huh. No, they played at, uh, at Lancaster got? first, and then De Ilano, and then they had right here. So like, eran las cien meses seguidos, you know. So it's like, why? Why go to a place where then you just drove over here, you know? Like, esa gente no va a venir pa' acá. Because they already played in their area. Yeah, because they already played in their area. He's like, why should I drive if he just played nearby? Yeah, Yeah. but, I mean, I guess it'd be nice to have somebody that is like a show, like a tour planner, you know, give us some insight that maybe we don't know about that. I think it's kind of like getting into our opinions that we have right now. Mm -hmm. But do you guys think that somebody, we'll we'll give that, from Delano, which is, for people that don't know, maybe, look it up. I don't understand tampoco. It was next time but Harlan. Would you for someone from Delano drive to downtown LA to the Microsoft? Thick. We drove from We here drove from there to there. To there. No, yeah. but we're a special case. Yeah, we're a special case. <laughs> yeah. I like that like, we that we drove so far. I feel but like I, feel I think yes, because there's people who you guys said that drive from I don't know where to Pico. Dude, that's there's, crazy. there's nothing nearby over there. It's yeah. crazy how far people drive to go to Pico. From like and the part and, and come over here. Because what was it? That one person was from where? Oxnard. Uh, I think they said Denver. I don't Denver? No, nah, no, Utah. No, I'm Fresno. sorry. Utah. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Utah. 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 They said they Utah. That was um. What's that? Uh, they said authentic. They, authentic told me. Oh, oh, I was kidding. Oh, yeah. you really? Yeah, he texted me. Like, really? Yeah. But yeah. let's say some more regular, like let's say Fresno. Somebody more regular. The what way. the fuck's wrong with Utah? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think. What the fuck's wrong with Utah? Oh my bad. Hey, we trying to go to Utah. Wait, how far away is Utah? Hey, Salt Lake City. Utah, pendejo. Let's go on break. <laughs> bad. Twelve hours. Twelve. What's up, guys? Based on the chart we just showed you guys, Ivan Cornejo has been top two since he dropped his album. No one in the regional has been able to surpass him. All you guys watching, Agusto Papa, I want you guys to let me know on the Versus Game app if Ivan Cornejo 
will be top two on August 25th. No one has been able to surpass him, so I want you guys to vote on the app. All right, guys, we are back from the break, and we're actually gonna sprint, sprint, spin. You're this, sitting uh, like Pepe Garza. <laughs> <laughs> bro, have you guys seen Pepe Garza? I mean, we're not, like, we're not making fun of him, but like... Con respetos. But, like when he plays the guitar. No, like, but he does it like extra. I feel like he puts his patas up. Ah, oh, my balls. Ow. You have blue yeah. balls, huh? Yeah, but anyway. That was fucked. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, guys. Bro, honestly, like, what happened with Pepe? Like, why, why, what happened between us and him? <laughs> I feel like we didn't what have chemistry. <laughs> yeah, but like, why did we just like never talk to each other again? I, I that was I, I feel uh, like you know that was bad. For season two, <laughs> it was bad from us. I'm, for season two, I want to be more open. Like I just want to like yeah yeah. I'm I, a, I'm a, like I don't go fuck. Like honestly, like we have, to, we have to start being more open. For season two, you should bring Pepe as should, a guest. Yeah, start, yeah tell him why he won't. I wish should ask him why he didn't pay us. I feel okay. he did pay us, bro. No, <laughs> <laughs> bro, not that. <laughs> not that <laughs> open. open. We're gonna expose. He everybody. paid us. No, bro, but he did super pay. late. We're gonna, we're gonna, expose. but that's not the reason why we like were like kind of, yeah. Know. I feel like, oh, Jason didn't want us. Reason. It's because what <laughs> happened was that we weren't doing the right we thing, we weren't in tone. It was oh. our fault, dude. All right, I'm gonna take it. Was our fault. Okay, let's, let's tell him. Uh, what should, should we do? This or? <laughs> dude, no, we would, all right, okay, we so. would do the vlog in like two minutes, dude. We, <laughs> All right, yeah, just give a little bit of context. All right, all right. Like the everybody is that quality. To, just to catch up, up to speed with what Everything. he's about to I'm say, we it. talked to uh, Pepe. We were trying to do some content together. We came up on a content that it was one video a week. <laughs> we didn't. We weren't. And really then what happened? It. What happened after we said, okay, we're doing one video a week, and this is how much we're getting paid. Yeah. So like, we weren't. The money wasn't right. We didn't feel like it was right. Everyone said it wasn't right. And it was too much work, you know, one video a week. This motherfucker works on Monday through Friday. He's off at night. Like, we could only shoot at night in here. There's not a lot of ideas that we could do. Yeah. Jason was an editor. He was just not doing the care. work. He didn't give a fuck. I was we, in the We right would literally state do, like, mind. the videos like this. Like, fake and shit. We, what, one time, we just went to Target, we grabbed food, <laughs> record it, and then we edited it. And, and they knew then, we weren't trying, but we had meetings, like, back and forth. And then the last meeting we had, La neta, estamos deprimidos. <laughs> <laughs> we had we had it was something Bro. around we were down it was something along we were, those dude, lines we were like, like those it, 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 look guys it was like an apology video <laughs> la neta pepe estamos bien deprimidos no sabemos que nos, que nos pasa <laughs> but it's cause it was so it, bad it, it, la neta it, because guys no sé que me está pasando los marquitos toys guys it was dude. so bad because my mom watches the tengo talento mucho talento every single day I see him every single day in my TV and then the next morning we go and we do a video. It's like, hola, Pepe. <laughs> Dude, we were still bad. And, uh, so actually, Pepe y Rica, por favor, acepten una disculpa de parte de nosotros. Yo, yeah. Fuimos nosotros, no fueron ustedes. Sorry. Yeah. Pero, Pero yeah. fue Jason. Nah, digo, no fuimos nosotros ni ustedes. Fue, fue Jason. Uh, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but yo yeah, that's why we stopped. But <laughs> honestly, I feel like we should kind of like try to... Or, uh, I don't know. We could probably come up with something. We should but at least like, apologize. You know, make some dope yeah, content. Yeah, we never talked again. No. Because we were fucked. This is our we, fault. No, it's because, like, it was our nos fault. Valíamos, we didn't. Like, nah. it's, it's not that it nos valía, but we didn't. You wouldn't I feel like we didn't. to him. You wouldn't. <laughs> a ti te and valía. he would call him. Would the, they would call him and Jason <laughs> would answer the phone. Yeah. A ti te valía. But aside from that, like, okay, we had to do one video. I, I feel like we didn't have the right tools or the right. I feel like every we, we weren't able to physically do it. Okay, we were not one unit. Everybody was scattered because like, I was it, was it was scattered. And then you were in charge. Like the motherfucker that gave the like the yeah, shit was I, in charge. Okay. Whoever put him in charge. I feel like eh? you put me yeah. in charge now, it'd be a different. But like back then, like I was not in the, the right state of mind. <laughs> but <laughs> andamos mejor. <laughs> 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 Make that out, like <laughs> Andamos mejor. <laughs> it's not that funny, Joe. <laughs> it is funny, bro. All right, guys. That's just a, we're gonna be more open about our experiences, everything, everything. and our business ventures. We actually talked about that. Earlier. We're gonna start being more open. Yeah. Yup. I feel and, like um, we were scared to get people mad. Nah, yeah, but not, nah. Not that, but like mm. maybe just like it's because we see everyone do like where we wherever we go, we see everyone, and it's just kind of like awkward when we're like, you know. Yeah, cause like, but like. Business is business and like, you know, amistad is amistad. Like, yeah, we easier still, we still, said than done though. Easier said than done, you know. We stay, we still say what's up to everyone. And yeah, like, we're nice, but we don't have beef with anyone. We don't have beef with anybody. Not yet. You know, 
an oh, oh, a good business advice that we got from a lot of people is you know just be chill with everybody. Yeah, don't burn bridges. Don't burn bridges. Exactly. And we have been chill with everyone. Mm-hmm. Everybody fucks with us, and we fuck with everybody. And I feel like that's why we're able to get a, a lot of the artists that we like on the podcast. <laughs> so just just quickly yeah. before I guess moving on, what's one artist you want to have on this season? Um, no, Marque me pe. Edgardo, Edgardo, bro, it's in Spanish. And sing a song is in Spanish too. Who? What? No, I said sing a song is in what, Spanish what, too. What other song? I mean, what other song? What other group? What do you want? No, he said Edgardo. Grupo firme. Nah, I know. I, I know. know. <laughs> you trying to do a thing. He wanted to say grupo arriesgado, but he can't say it. I was listening to the music. He can't today, say, but I know he wants them on. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, who? Who? Grupo Arriesgado. 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 Yeah. Gotcha. Ah, Yo también quiero Grupo Arriesgado, marca registrada. It's going to be really oh. hard because it's in Spanish and because their Spanish is very high level and they have a lot of like their own slang. But I think that if we prepare enough, we could do a good podcast. Take some fucking I Spanish want. Right? Can you guys guess? Nata. 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 Oh, yeah. Junior H. Junior H. Oh, yeah. Si estás viendo esto, compa, al hacer el parque. Caleb Caleb or Pantera. Caleb calling you out to play the... I want Ivan back. I want Ivan back. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so does Diego. Oh, yeah. I want... We want him back. Sheesh. We want Ivan on... We want (laughs) Ivan on tour. Honestly, Ivan was supposed to come this week. (laughs) We met... What? I think he was a little too late. Is it your tour or your girl's But we're going to see him tomorrow. Danny Lux, too. Danny Lux is going to be in LA. Yeah, Danny Lux should come back. But... I think we should also have influencers as well, not just... A lot of people have been wanting uh, Santi and all of them. Santi. So you guys let us know. They and wanted they wanted to play soccer against them too. What's but the, I was like, nah, we don't want to take them out. Nah, we'll, we'll, just we'll win for sure. But a way that you guys could support us On and turf. allow us to get more artists, more creators is, um, you know... Keep sharing. Keep sharing it. Be like, hey, go on. Gusto Papa. Hey, go on. Tag, Papa. Them. Tag them. Be like, hey, check this out. That is always a good way to, you know, network and, you know, get more familiar with algorithm and get us there. Yeah. Also, another thing just to follow up on what you're saying to build up on that is, uh, um, you know, if you guys want us to be more open, we can say whatever we want. You know, maybe if it's like not saying the best thing about an artist or a person, but, you know, you guys back us up with those views, with the with the engagement. We could keep doing that and we could have this guest come on regardless of whether they like us or not, because, you know, they know that you guys are going to watch exactly so you guys really just it's up to you guys set up the foundation for us to you know progress and thank you guys for that spin but i know you guys we guys of death guys with who this is a new segment we already explained it we're gonna spin it and you guys first. put dares on instagram we wrote them down imagine you have to lick your own foot this is lick and foot. safe it. do we have to? like bottom of a shoe Gecko's going oh, first. Okay. Damn, and I haven't showered in like two th- days. There was even one where, oh, hell no. There's even one where um, a lot of people wanted us to drink and shit, but like we actually want to take a break from that. We're trying to retire. But next episode, we'll, we'll add like shots and shotguns and dabs and Like shit. a whole fireball. And sh- sh- nah, actually, no dabs, but like shotguns and shit. Who's going to spend first? We're going to have to spend for all of us. Gecko yeah, I'll spend for spend. you guys, but I think we should start with Gecko. Ooh. Oh, no. Gecko Teton. Gecko Teton. Let me do some witchcraft on that shit real quick. Go. What is that one word so that we've been using? Who wants who wants to start from that side or from this side? Tatarawancho. You want to go first? <laughs> I bet. Keko always calls Jason Tatarawancho. He says it's short for tarado. It's longer. This is a pilot. Who is this for? Keko. Go shirtless for 10 minutes. Ay! Oh, Keko? Yeah. Hey, take the boner pill off too. Nah. Like se va la lonja. Oh, you're lucky. But that's la- easy right there. Take it okay, my right turn. Now. Okay. Oh, yeah. Mujaroba, Mujaroba. Solo, 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 solo. Guys, we were at Kings yesterday and we were talking um about like getting fit and shit because we can't gain weight, they can't get skinny. And then we were talking. Well, I told him. Hey, that shit's better than going through my DMs. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, actually, we, I can't do that. No, too bad. What? Oh my god. Oh my god. What? All those girls you talk to, we better read them. No, DMs. I don't want to take my shirt off. Why not? Hey, hey, but you can't, yeah, cover, you it can't cover it up. We gotta the boner the pillow, too. Nah, not the boner yeah. pillow. I need that one there. Hey, Gekko's, I like Gekko's confidence. I'm bricked up. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Gekko Do you think you have a, you're really confident because, like, you were... Big? No, no. No, you're no you've you definitely work. come a long way. I'll tell you that. But like, Do you think you know how, like, everyone always makes <laughs> bad jokes about you? Like, not us, but, like, <laughs> your other... <laughs> 
laughing? Wait, why are you laughing? Why are you like the main source? What? Wait, why are you laughing? <laughs> <laughs> no, like before. <laughs> no, else. Who else? No. Ricky, Who else? Ricky, Ricky, Ricky. Who no, else no, no, besides no, no, this no. dumbass? No, because bef- when we went to hi- when we were wait, dumbass. Like, oh, never mind. When, right, when right. we were freshmen, like you know how you're a year older than us, mm-hmm. like those people. What? Nothing. Okay, never mind. Good. No, never mind. Keep going. Why are you mad? Like, no, 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 no. You uh, wasted two point five seconds of his life that he's not gonna get back by saying. I wish I, I heard what you said though. Nah. Just saying, I can bleep it out. Go. No, you're He's not gonna, gonna be like, I'll bleep it out. He's like, Yeah, I was fat and no girl wanted me, but now they're all up on my DMs. No, no, I was just that every day. I was just gonna say about some vampire that bit me. Oh, no, 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 say you no, got no, no, I don't have them. No, you don't have them. Why don't you take them off? Them? I told you how to take them off. I was oh, you know how to get rid of them? Yeah, I know how to get rid of Higgies. Damn, I was like, The fuck you have, God, and yeah, did that a lot or what? Mm, no, I don't really like getting hickeys. I just think it's like Damn. unnecessary because they just have to come off. Mm-hmm. Unless they're like right here and shit. And actually, no, because I sleep shirtless and I forget and I go out and shit. Yeah. I, I don't know. I've never had a hickey. Anyway, time for me to do it. Shut up. You told me you had one on your dick. All right, next. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Dick. Please. Shirt off so we can see his fucking. No, DMs. Oh, DMs. 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 Go, 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 go. DMs. 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 You don't even believe in God no more. You're saying this. DMs. You're a marmon. Marmon. Let group read last DM. Yes! Yes! Let me see. Let me see. Give me that. Get it, get it, get it, get it. Go, get it. I, yeah, which way, Agustin was man lower at Cano. All right. I was shitting breaks. So go, 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 hey, go. Hey, hey, we got to read at least 15 bars of the yeah, conversation. Yeah, 15 bars. I cannot do 15 <laughs> bars. <laughs> hey, you got to give us the phone. Fuck yes, that. We had a very unfortunate no, moment. No, right no, 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 Angel, Angel. Why not? Whoa, whoa. Again. No, no, no. Hey. That's, that's why you don't shoot pray. it over here, lip fillers. That's why you don't me. pray okay, to a bye, guard bye, you bye, don't bye. believe in because it comes back hey, at you. Right here. No, no, not West Coast B plus. Yes, that's no, what no, I'm no, on. No. No. You're on WGM. No, 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 WGM. Stop being a little pussy. No, look. Stop being a pussy. Look, Angel. Angel. Okay, boys, look. Angel. You thought that I want you? Okay, boys, look. Hopefully, all right, I can pop and they don't sell out. No, 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 so much hate. Eso no se vale. Eso I no know. Se vale. Angel, you're Ale, pues. Ale, pues. You guys ask for it. <laughs> Hey, 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 hey. I'll read. I'll read. I'll read. I'll read. He had a roster. I'll read. Here, here, here. Pinchy Make it fair. Huh? No, look. It was me getting left on scene. <laughs> here, here, here. Lying. No, 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 no. Damn, I, let me see my DMs. Let me no, see. Let me see. Bro, let me see. This is hey, I got lucky, bro. Let's right, look, right, wait, right, look, right, look, right. look, 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 look. Dude. Oh, damn. She was. Oh, damn. <laughs> <laughs> look at my cashflow. Angel, hurry up, bitch. Oh, no, that, that's a flat. No, stop. Wait, you talk to. No, what I you talking know. about, bro? This is not. Kekos <laughs> T. <laughs> Looks like a fucking torpedo and shit. <laughs> shit. Put, put strap, put hey, up. here. Nah. Hurry up, bitch. You're wasting fucking time. Everybody got in bed. Hey, bro. Here, I'll read it. I'll read it. I cannot do this. I cannot do this. I'll, I'll, I'll tell you guys what it's about. No, 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 no. I can't do it. Angel. Angel. Bro. I can't. Angel. Angel's the fans are going to fucking hate you. Angel. Why did we write that down then? Why Angel. Why did we write it down? No, I didn't f- know what was going to happen to me. <laughs> Pero si, no, could look, Dick, if it's him, we're going through his shit too. I don't give a fuck. Right. I'm we're going through your shit right. too. Uh, Right. No, let's go through everybody's. No, no, no. no, 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 no. We, we spin the wheel. Wait, wait, wait. We spin the wheel. Okay, it's look. the only no, way. No, no, no. We have to read them. I can't do this, bro. Nah, 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 You're really, you're you're really not going to do it. Can yeah, you do like eight. something more worse? No, 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 no. All right, drink some of Agustin's water. Okay. We put a spider on him. Bet. Do it. No, no, no. You lick it. Look, there's a spider right here. It's gone. I killed it. It's right there. Angel. There's a spider right there. All right. Bet, bet. All right. We put the spider on you. Bet. Shoot it over. Just okay. fucking. No way. Hey, get. No, 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 no. Angel, Angel, what are you no, doing? No, no, no. You gotta sit your ass down. No. You gotta sit your ass down. Guys, Angel's being a cagapalo. He's this being a cagapalo. This is what we deal with. Angel's a fucking little pussy. I'm Angel. Gonna say dead into the camera. Angel. Angel is a family. I mean, we're family fucking friendly, okay, but I don't give a fuck. Okay, Angel is a fucking pussy. He's ah! the one. 
Que nem ele... Ah! 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 Hell no. <laughs> hey, pinch it that I want you. Hey, Ricky, zoom in on that too. <laughs> Dude, hey, 4K, your mom is with you. He forgot that the camera. <laughs> <laughs> I was just waiting like this. Look at that, Ricky. He's like, okay, boy, he's tired of that, Angel, you're a bitch. Look, I can't do this. Look. Dude. Cockroach. No, mom is Angel. Angel, you're you ready let the bitch out. You let us down hard. Let us down okay, well, kill it first. You're a pussy. You let dog. the whole podcast down. I know. And the fans. You're a bitch. Our idea is you just crumbled it, stepped on it. Yeah. What was the point of this if you're not going to do it? <laughs> no, but shoot, 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 shoot. No, no, no you're going to change it. It has it has to be at least 15 bars. All right, I want to make sure you read it right. This girl saying that. No, no, go, go. Put the, put the mic on your. Hey, it should been 10 minutes. It hasn't, but you could put it back on. We, we, we don't want to get demonetized. Hey, we need the last one. Look, I don't even talk. There's a thing that I'm mad about is that I don't even talk to girls like that. You guys are going to think I do now. <laughs> hey, <I'm>, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But, hey, but put I'm, it between me and you. I want to make sure you read but it I'm correctly. Talk, but yeah. I was I was just having a conversation with with a girl. Mm -hmm. Okay, that shit goes. That's a freak, and that's that a freaky was just, conversation. She was just telling me like where she's from. And she is from. No, I have to read the DM. And she's from Sacramento. And I was like, all right, bet. And then she was telling me that. It was not just, all right, but it's a whole ass paragraph. Look, it's right a whole there. ass paragraph. It's a whole ass paragraph. And she was telling me that. I'm no mama's angel. Angel, I'm going to just say what I read. Okay, say it. All right, she was like, I'll catch a flight to you. We could go out. We could do this and that. Angel was like, best, light through. <laughs> no, I didn't say slide through. Hey, here, let me read it. No. Here, no. Yeah, you guys already what? saw it. That's what happened. That's nothing. Whatever. Wow. I, have, I, have, I didn't know where she was from. She says from Sacramento. Just get that, the wheel and then and throw that she that was going to catch a flight because she wanted to meet me. That's Let's it. just go move on to the next topic. Cause Angel's Sorry, guys. I have Angel's We're not going to have the... But you guys can't act like... You guys just didn't tell you everything. You didn't tell you us didn't anything. You didn't tell anything. Angel, you literally mm -hmm. fucked everything up. Oh, my mama's angel. Okay. There you go. Look, okay, okay. She hit me up. No, it's we you have to read, read the text. We okay. don't want to know the summary. We want to read. We want to know word for word. Yep. Okay, this happened because the story that you posted about how I said like that was my favorite song, and then you said you posted on your story and you said that song made me cry, right? Yeah. And then I reposted it and I said yes, it got me in my feels. Damn. Right. And then she said, "My stories be putting you on." Yeah, so then she's like, oh, <laughs> like, you know, I'm not going to be in my fields anymore. And then she's like, oh, and I was like, how do you know? And she said, I can do anything. And then, no, I guess, no, I can't do this, bro. Dude, this is so embarrassing. <laughs> Look, that's her it, it, Okay, I have a question. <laughs> <laughs> No, that's it. Like, oh, literally, wow. guys. No, All right, next fucking, topic. Spin the fucking wheel. No, spin the wheel. What's the point? We're not all going to do it. Spin the wheel. I'm going to be like, Angel, I'm not going to lick his foot. Spin the fucking wheel. Angel, you, you ruined the whole segment. I know, you ruined the whole segment. Moving on. And you're the one that came up with this idea. Yep. yep. All right. No. I Spin the fucking wheel. For what? If I he's not going to do fuck. it. It's not going to be fair if this fool reads his last 15 DMs and then Angel doesn't want to read it. I took off my shirt. You spin the fucking <laughs> You're wheel. You're fucked. You spin the fucking wheel. All right, wheel. just spin that shit. Who cares? But you guys are acting like I didn't tell Pretend you. Pretend JD's here. Pretend JD's here. When else is JD going to come and tell you to spin the wheel? <laughs> <laughs> Look, you, just <laughs> <laughs> you literally just said that. Lick his feet, you fucking nasty ass whore. Lick his feet. All right, take your shoe off, bitch. Like calceta or? <laughs> and sock too, fool. Take that shit off. Oh, uh, no, that's too much, bro. Athlete's foot. Oh my god. You have athlete's foot? Ongles? Anything? I have one on that story. All right, spin that shit again. Cause really. that's cool. I will fucking think I'm not a bitch. Damn, that's right. That's our respect, Diego. He's not a. Hey, bitch. What's the point of this whole segment? We're not no, gonna I do it. I don't want you to lick my foot. 
Bruh. All right, moving on. Angel, step the fuck out. Ricky, come in. Ricky, Ricky come in. Ricky, yeah, step out. Camera, man. Okay. Balloon step out. Ricky, come in. Take his fur balloon head. Hey, step out. Take a break. Hey, oh take God. a break. And don't take a break. Sub in, sub sub in Ricky. Get the fuck out. Take a fucking break. Get out of here, you know. bitch. Take Think a about what you did. Be a man. Take a fucking break. Oh, hey, my God. Come back on the podcast when you can fight. Fucking nalgón cagado. Fucking sensitive. Oh, my sensitive. Ricky. Oh, my God. Ricky, come in. Ricky, come in. So you can show the merch. Ricky. Ricky, 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 Ricky. Show the merch, Ricky. Show the merch, show the merch. Get the fuck over here. Show the merch, Ricky. Ricky, we let one bitch go away. You can't be the second one. Get over here. Ricky. Go, bitch. Flab your pussy away. <laughs> Ricky, Ricky, get over here. Go, you fucking flappy bird. Get out of here. Flappy bird. Ricky. Fucking okay, angry bird. <laughs> He's a black He's one. He's the red angry bird. No, the black one dude. that blows up. Fucking, Fucking tacote, yeah. angel, dude. Like, we took us days to plan this whole shit. And you're just like, no, we put theirs. Like, he, he didn't want it to charge you guys. <laughs> if we charge $5 per slot, and he doesn't want to fucking did, do it. No. Okay, Ricky. Fat Slenderman. Ricky. <laughs> <laughs> you called him Fat Slenderman? That didn't even make sense. Ricky. Oh my God, angel. Ricky, five minutes. We're Get almost a, on break. Five minutes, Ricky. Come on. Ricky. Come on, Ricky. Ricky. Come on. Hey, people fuck with you, Ricky. bro. No, Ricky, people they miss you. you. They want the OG squad. Where'd Come you? on. Ricky. Damn. Damn. Ricky. Ricky. Damn. Ricky. Hey, OG I would squad. not say that. Fuck you. Ricky, OG. it's season one. Uh, I mean, season two, episode uh, two. Yeah, you got to be in yeah. here. Yeah, you got to be in here hey. like the... Ricky. Guys, if you guys know who Ricky... Hey. If you guys know Ricky... Like they say, Angel detrás de cámaras. Angel, andale. Damn. Damn. Until you earn it back, you're back, Angel. Ricky. Damn. Hey, Ricky, yeah, hop in so you can show the merch. <laughs> I just the merch, just the merch. Just the merch. Hurry up. Right, 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 right. Introduce yourself. Just like walk in and be like, this Ricky. Is the merch. Guys, merch up at uh, shopagushwaba.com. Black is all sold out. Ricky. We saw blue. Ricky. Right, sit down. Ricky, sit down. Ricky. Oh, my God. Ricky. Ricky. All right, stay behind the camera, too. Damn, what it's last three. All right, fuck it. Finish it. Finish it. Finish it. Finish it. Hey, this is the second OG squad right here. Oh, that was a pussy spin. <laughs> Whose turn is it? Yours? Shirtless. Oh, mm. uh, I'm kind of skinny, Fucking guys. No cap. Fucking conceited ass motherfucker over here. <gasps> you, you like your body. Shut up. Oops. Put the volume up. My body's on the works. On the works. It needs work. You look buffer yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> no dead eyes that would look more ripped damn dude we really oh yeah so we were at Kane's and I was kind of uh, telling um, these guys I was like what do we, <laughs> if we get in shape well, are we still going to be like as funny hey, dude you're going to wake him up <laughs> you're gonna, you said you're going to wake him up bro that's messed up to the fish no bro I think that fool's dead you're messed up to the podcast you bitch I know you're, you're fish too angel oh, no. <laughs> he, fucking puffer fish <laughs> 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 fucking dodo bird <laughs> I go. <laughs> oh, right. we move on to like yeah, the topic. Yeah. Uh, yeah. This, this, this is a topic that Angel wanted to talk about too. <laughs> Guys, if you guys didn't know, I looked through Hio, he oh we actually do need Angel because he knew about this shit. Angel. Alright, this is what I remember that Angel told me. Angel, welcome back. <laughs> welcome back, not going. Hey, can we talk about this shit? Oh guys, we have this sign. It's called um Verse of the Week. Yeah. And we always put a message in there, you know, a little quote and some calculations 317, Agostations 417. Jagation, Jagations, no angel. Yeah, but you guys won't I know who who is. So it like, we I could put a, co- a quote, and it could be about something about that what happened. But we to won't them. say who it is. What does that one say? I forgot what it put. Like when they grab your oh, cock at the bar. <laughs> <laughs> That's a highlight. <laughs> oh, I thought you wrote that one. It says, <laughs> "Don't fall in love with women who use you for slap one hundred miles of chickens and grab your cock at the bar." <laughs> My boy, hey, whoever that happened to, I'm praying for you. you hey, we're not prayer. saying who it is though, but hey, it Gecko said it pretty confidently. Where we know it's not him, I mean, just no go to bars so. though. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding, guys. I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Hey, come back, come back, come back, come back, angel, 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 you're angel, the main character. angel, 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 angel. You're the main character. Hurry the fuck up. I'm not a pinche total bird. I tell you. Guys, okay. me and Angel are wearing the same shirt. We did not mean Guys, to. Guys, Angel, <laughs> <tree trunk>. Angel, <laughs> <got, laughs> Angel got stung by a bee like five times, but it didn't go down. Where? His lips. And his nose. <laughs> That's fucked up. 
Is you making a puffy nose? It's because you got no upper lip. Ooh. Ooh. Bitch, you, you're the one that came up with that joke, fucking asshole. <laughs> I didn't say it, though. Yeah, but you said it. podcast? You said it first. Guys, I'm sorry. She's a bitch. <sighs> <laughs> Intro. He 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 so 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 I never seen a man so serious. Uh, <laughs> he's disappointed in himself. Are you? you should be. No, well, it's because the worst part is that I I exposed myself, and then a, you guys are acting like I didn't say anything. So lost. I should have might as well just not said anything. He just lost all his girls. We should have had JD here. Yeah, JD would. Why not? Is JD gonna tell you to spin the wheel? Come on, guys, you're letting me down. I'm what? watching the vibe chat. Dude, this is a one lesson lifetime. When is JD going to come here and tell you, like, Guys, this is like 20,000. When else are you going to get this? Like, dude, no, you guys, you guys are not watching the vibe chat. What the fuck? Come on, guys. Man, I don't know if these are my boys. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, okay. <laughs> no. Oh my god. <laughs> you're disappointed, okay. Angel. Uh, Have you always had that hustler men- mentality? <laughs> no, I remember when, like, when you told me, like, the sales, like, that really motivated me, you know, I really got here. The fucking age. Oh, my okay, God. It's so hard Angel, in here. I have too much good things to say about Angel, you. Angel, you got to spin the wheel one yes, more time. Yes, okay, 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 make it be the same thing. Make it up, make it up. Redeem, you gotta redeem, make it redeem it up. yourself. Redeem hey, put yourself. my mic up, fool. Or down. <laughs> lick your own feet. It's lick your own feet. Just lick that shit. <laughs> I don't think I can physically do it. Here, if you can't some. just drink Agostin's water, dude, honestly. <laughs> yeah, just drink some water. Drink some water. <laughs> oh, <laughs> like, like, um, <laughs> just go back outside. <laughs> just go back outside, dog. You ain't flexible. All right, then, Angel. We're going back to, you know, business. Going back to biz. We got to go on break. But we're back. <laughs> on break, and then we're going to talk about uh, Aldo Trujillo faking his death for, I don't know what the fuck. And we're gonna be more open, so we don't go fuck. Yeah, fuck that bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, <laughs> we don't want to be like that either, dude. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, after the break. Damn, we guys, back, guys. We're back. Honestly, sorry about that. We did not mean to go that far. Sorry about the wait. Wait, are you sorry? <laughs> yeah, fuck that bitch. <laughs> yeah. Double no, down. Bro, so name. yeah, um, I mean, Angel's gonna talk about it more because I didn't really look a lot into it, but. There's a picture. I follow Aldo Trujillo. Uh, there's a picture where he posted and like I guess he was like dead and there was like blood, and then they captioned it like, "Oh, Aldo Trujillo falleció en una privada," and there was like guns, girls, and he was with like Betillo Guerrero. Betillo Guerrero is the one that oh fucking cat, come in. There's a fucking cat. Yeah. Yeah, Betillo Guerrero is the one that sings it. And la dan da dan da dan da dan. Yeah, that song. That TikTok song. And then his profile picture was a ribbon. Well, and so yeah, so if you guys don't know, in uh, popular Mexican culture, if you put a ribbon in either a profile or you post a picture, that means that somebody passed within away. your family has passed away, and that's a way of, I guess, publicly mourning. Um, so he did that, uh, and also I think God King Records did that, put that on their profile, and then I was like, <coughs> once I saw that, I was like, no way he actually died, and they post a picture of like him laying on the floor, right? And I was like, this has to be some sort of sham. I thought that too. And I was like, all right, whatever, we're moving on. Next post. But then he goes live and I clicked on it. I, I was just happened to be on my phone. I clicked on it and there was like 20,000 people and it was like some lady crying. And I think I said it was his wife. It was like some blonde lady. And it was just the phone like that. She was sitting on the kitchen and she was just looking at reading the comments and looking at how many people were watching. And she was like, there must have been like three or five minutes. Once she sees that it hits 30,000 viewers, she steps away. She gets up from the chair that she was sitting Wait, on. she was crying? Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah. Fuck. It was. So it was like, the phone was like this. It was like some blonde lady looking at the screen, reading the comments, <laughs> looking how many people were watching, like red eyes, crying. Not like a yeah. lot, a lot, but. Like it looks real. It looked real enough. Yeah, yeah. Like she was, you know, mourning the loss of a loved one. It gets to 30K. She steps off the the seat. He sits. And it's Aldo. Que rollo mi raza. Gracias por hacer, por meterse al en vivo. Nomás les quiero comentar que ya salió la nueva canción con Betillo. What was that fool's name? Con Betillo. Vayan a verla. Vayan a comentar. Voy a regalar una pulsera que salió ahí. Diez mil comentarios y la regalamos. So he used the, that he died to get people to look more at his profile, to go watch the song. And I think it's an absolute scam. And it is very insensitive to people that actually died you know because 
you Just the form that it was done what in. if somebody other mexican actually put that on their profile you know actually like crying or for their loved one or reposted that and this, out, this was out here doing that for an extra twenty thousand views yeah what if he dies and they're like oh yeah he died and be like shit wouldn't be the first time how long till he drops his next song you know <laughs> how long till he dies again yeah i think that's that's cheap that's not cool and if you need to do that para que tu canción pegue, o resucitó, you mejor know. que ni pegue. Go on to the next one. Go do another one with Al. With what's his name? With with El Güero. I, y pegue. Oh, 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 that oh, one. Oh, oh. The, I, I, don't, I don't really find. I mean, I'm I'm someone who like I don't find a lot. I'm not really sensitive. Like, I didn't really find it like too like oh whatever blah blah blah. But the live, I feel like that was pasado. Like that was way too much. Like having the wife cry. I don't know how. Close I don't know if I, it was a wife though, but oh, it was whatever. some lady crying. I don't know how. I don't really know much about the Trujillo and like his fan base, but like let's just say for example, if like so Nelly's like, oh Pedro died. Like I'm pretty sure like half of his fans would be crying and like just to prank him like that. Prank him, John. Prank him, John. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, it, it, it's, it's 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 not the right thing to do. There's hopefully better. And then he he did the stuff with Wedo, right? Back then, mm -hmm. and he was saying like, "Oh yeah, I got advised by my manager, or whatever, to do this, and I believed him, and mm -hmm. it was wrong, and my career fell down. I'm trying to build it back up." He just had a song with Padrinito Toys. That one's hard though. I don't know what the Chaman. name of it is. I like it. It's a good song. But so, you know, I he's he's Chaman? coming back up. He sale con Chaman. Estora. El Chaman. Um, I think I feel like um, I feel like he's a fucking clown for doing that. I think it was like you said, it was very insensitive. Like I get it, you're an artist and you have to find ways to create a uh, content and learn to promote your stuff. But I feel like that was a little bit too far. I actually saw the comments of the post and like no one was really fucking with it. They're like, bro, don't mess around with shit like that. Like everyone was commenting that. Yeah, even see. like his friends. Like I don't know, like. Some famous like artists were commenting. I don't know who. Like they were from Macho Cien. He's like, he just put like the, like the, I like the no yeah yeah that, that one. And but is I it mean, done? You know, it, it, it's not every day that you see people, you know, voicing their discontent like famous people. Yeah, and people were not were not. So like that. not only were like his fans bothered, but other people, you know, his colegas. It was a missed opportunity. Yeah, I feel like it could have been done in a smarter way but i feel like that was a more desperate way to promote something yeah like that nigga that oh shit like that was down bad <laughs> 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 like that was down bad that he had to fake his own death like for your career's already dead for you're not gonna come back you're just a fucking clown like <laughs> i don't know <laughs> your management team well you are your own management team but y'all clown for letting that shit he's the brain right. of his, uh, his own business well, clearly he don't have one but that's like the worst way to promote your shit Oh, it, was, it, was in, it, it was insensitive like i don't want to i don't want i mean i don't really express myself in that form you know but that's the get go but On i camera. feel like you you could you could be definitely do better you know make make some tiktoks make maybe make maybe take that song again take that one song out again the Tell me why. Tell me well, that song why. never came out. I was actually going through my photo gallery and I clicked on it. Well, go, it. well, we can promote it right here. <laughs> go look for another three TikTokers and fuck them over. Maybe they can promote your shit. But. <laughs> damn. damn. Ah! Wait, wait, why? Wait, why are you... <laughs> yeah, God, <laughs> man. Man, your career can start over again from there. He needs a reset button. Yeah. I love it. Damn, yeah, dude. Yeah, what the... Damn. Hey, y'all say we're being honest. ¿Qué cuando pesado? ¿Qué tenía esa agüita o qué? What did he do to you, fool? <laughs> Took your girl <laughs> too. <Damn. laughs> <laughs> what the <laughs> I'm shocked yeah. I thought you didn't express yourself you in that way wait by the way for everyone uh, we we always forget to put this at the beginning of the podcast <laughs> but sometimes when like one person says something you're like y'all like <laughs> oh. <"Keko said> that. <laughs> yeah I said that put it anything that, that Keko, Keko says is, is Keko's opinion. opinion yeah Angel says his opinions if Angel said it Jason didn't say it so like don't go for Jason. Yeah, so call me out. If you're gonna call yeah. me out, put make sure to at me too. Damn, like that. Se puso bélico. Oh, like that one Whoa. the one video. And if you don't at me, whatever. Cause hey. like people were like, Oh, you don't ask questions like an eighth grader. Like, bro. It's just get cool. <laughs> 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 you see? At me. But yeah, yeah it's been a gr you know, growth. I feel like uh sorry, Angel. Damn. Okay, bro. They for sure gonna watch that. You know, for any artist that did get to witness how he did it. Um, obviously you could learn from it. The people did not <laughs> like that at all. And you know, I mean, you know, take your time and don't don't be so pressured to, you know, promote something in an insensitive way. Cause it, I feel like it was a backlash. 
Yeah, and I know that in our culture, we're not like a very sensitive culture. We're not. I guess, you know, compared to English, like let's say pop or like that kind of stuff, you know, rap, uh, like more things fly in our genre. And if for that not to, for that not be well accepted, it says a lot. So also for all the other artists that are out there that, of course, you need to promote your stuff just like the rest of us. Make sure you don't promote it like that. Take notes. Don't do the same thing. Lesson learned. <clears throat> okay, since we were talking about Aldo Trujillo, you know, like, basically saying his career is not the same as it was back then. Um, and the La Guitarra also dropped an album. No one knew. I didn't fucking know. Me neither. But when we checked... Wait, did we talk about that? Not yet. When he did drop an album, that shit got to, like, 150 on the charts. And then it just, like, disappeared. Did they not get taken down from YouTube? I mean, uh, Instagram music? That's what I was thinking, that it, the album got taken down. With Instagram But music. it was only... Oh, when you look up a song to put on oh. your story, um, it just says, uh, song is not available. Mm. But the album is available on Apple Music. That's Damn. Weird. It's tough. I feel like once, you know, you hit... Uh, it's uh, tough to stay up there. Yeah, uh, all-time high. I feel like... Correct me or wrong, <laughs> but, like, I feel like you can't... The best thing to do is to not stop. But then again, you know, you get... You know, you get burned out. You need a break. But then, like, for example... The break could... On the... On the yeah, the, like, the break could, like, cost you. But on the flip side, Eddie Ansel was able to, you know, take a break. And, you know, bounce back to number two or number three on the Latin charts with the release album. There's also artists who took breaks and, you know... Never came back? Never came back. Mm -hmm. I didn't expect that La Guitarra to come back. I thought he was just gonna go back to being like I feel like Port uh, Porte Diferente. Like I didn't hear for them a long. Oh, time. they hit us up, dude! I think we're gonna have them on the podcast. And sure. I think Porte Diferente has a story to tell. I think it's really, yeah. Because I don't know if you guys remember, but when Bo Bundy was here, he, you know, since I guess they're kind of from the same area in Texas, like he was like, "Oh, you guys should have him on to talk about this specific thing," and that the reason. Dude, they were why. doing so good. They were doing good. They, they were, were like yeah. during those. They got, they got bangers. COVID? Yeah, like I like, they, were I like the their, uh, they were doing duetos with Nata. I like the cover that they have of Rosas. That's a really good song. <laughs> and Desvelado too. I remember I put that song and I, and I was like, damn, this bumps. And my mom my mom heard it and I was like, oh, that's a cover. And I had no idea that was a cover. But I guess Desvelado. Oh, the fuck you not know that's a cover. I know, that's like a bit By like banger. Bobby. Angel's a type to uh, Pepe Garza's brother wrote that song. Was the one with the, that fucking um, really? to Carson? You know how Alta Consigna sings it? Oh, yeah. yeah. Angel probably thought they wrote it and shit. That's Marco Antonio Solis. Marco papa. Antonio, no? Don't, don't disrespect him like that. Yeah, but... That's why you think sometimes, like, the artists think, like, oh, I'm going to take a break, and everybody's going to be like, oh, is he going to come back? And then they come back, and then no one gives a fuck about them. But it's, but it's kind of crazy, <laughs> too, because... <laughs> I laugh for no so reason. So you're not going to fucking answer my question? Yet. Gonna, no, 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 I'm... I'm I got a good question. I got a good answer. You, you made a statement. You didn't ask a question. <laughs> Was that not Wait, do you mind asking your question again? I said in the most respectful way. You think some artists think by going away and taking a break will make people wonder like, oh, are they ever gonna come back? Like build out anticipation uh -huh. for a new project. Yeah. So then, like, when they do come back, they expect their numbers to like fucking skyrocket, but then people just forget about them. What's the question? Yeah, you're, like what you're saying, like if, if you take a break, <laughs> if an artist they takes a break, a, they, yeah, is that building anticipation? Oh, oh okay, okay. As he said, he said, Keko. Service dog. Service um, dog. <laughs> 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 service dog. Can you make this a highlight, please? So for I want the world to know how I get treated. <laughs> That's your boy. That's your boy. He wait, wait, you, you, you I want you guys to know dog. what he called me. He called me his service dog. <laughs> <laughs> el te hace el paro, güey, porque, porque, porque no sabes nada. Paro, um, well, you the see, way that's your boy? Uh, no, you the one that just I said got it. no boy. You got you said that shit in front of you thousands of people, bro. <laughs> it's thousands. tough. It's tough to wait because you don't know, and then obviously new talent is always coming out, and they could just fucking take your spot. You think he? But it's normal to, to die out. To be honest, it's normal. Everyone dies out. Like let's just say. Legado siete, you know they died out, but, but it's normal. They did their shit. They fucking exploded. They left their legacy. They left their and legacy. It's okay that you know they died out. There's no. Music. I feel like that's the most important thing from being an artist. Like, like I don't think it's something that they should get cooked for. Like, ah, oh, legado siete died out. Like, no, like it's normal. Everyone's gonna die. It's a way because everybody, every, every, every artist has its time. You know, talking about legado siete too. 
Ramon's not in, under no more. Hey, but isn't Ramon a co-founder of Lumber Music? Maybe he still owns it. Wait, wait, what is, does it mean? What? He can't own it. <laughs> I'm leaving legal, so that means I can't be. A, no, I'm just saying, like, whereby they have like a discussion, like algo pasó, and. Oh no, he actually left a statement. I haven't checked it, but um. I, I'm a play right now, but I think it's because he wants to focus more like on the lumbre, you know, business side. Should I play? It? Yeah, play. It. Right, hopefully it's not too long. And also the bass player is not on there either. Rigo, so for los pistones. Yeah. Oh, for real? Those so go pistones hard. go down. That's kind of weird. Rigo was in there since like day one. Wait, but I think they had. I think Legado had him for his birthday. I mean, Alex had him for his birthday. Pistones. He had pistones for his birthday. Maybe it was like their homies. Yeah. Manzano was telling me that they were playing and shit. Yeah, and they got they got a beast that's bass player though. Aaron feel the bass. Oh yeah, Lega- for Legado. Oh, well, that's that's the guy that records the albums. For who? For the Legado Siete. Oh yeah, he's a beast, bro. He's a beast. Wait, so Rigo doesn't record? No. no he, oh, well, I, I don't, I'm not I'm not gonna say he doesn't, but I know that the majority of the songs that we're recording on certain albums, it was Aaron feel the bass. Do you know? So like I said, we're gonna be more open. I'm so not. So you're say telling exactly. me. Oh, yeah, sorry. Go ahead. But go don't ahead. forget what you're gonna say. So you're telling me that they are part of the group, but they don't record That's what I'm because going. they're not good enough? That no, okay. So this is what I'm going to tell you. I, I know. I'm not going to say any names, but I want to be more open. There is Play um it. some... No, no, because this is just unnecessary. And I don't want to make him seem like he sucks or something. But there is <laughs> uh, musicians uh-huh. in groups who don't record in studio, just live performances. Bro. And I, huh, bro? Oh no, sorry, it's because I. <laughs> oh yeah, and it's because you know recording is hard. You have to follow metronome. Some people get frustrated. It's not an easy process. You always have to hit the B, and then you go to yellow room. They're like, again, again. Yeah. You know he likes perfection. Perfect. You know, and he's the one recording it. So and it's not easy, but you know, a lot of people do not record for the groups. Yeah. So actually, a, a lot of big and I, artists. And I mean, I think you guys have a more ear for that, and I don't know any about this. I know what a metronome is, but I I couldn't tell if they're like in tune or not. So you're telling me that the performance that they do on stage is never gonna match the mm-hmm. recording. Like they might be off, they might no. speed up, they might speed up in the beginning. I mean, you're supposed to practice with the metronome so that way when you play a song, you don't start it slow and then at to like towards the speed end it's it fucking fast. That's why you, you have to practice with it. But honestly, like it's never like always like oh, perfect. Wow. Yeah, so think about it like a uh, live performance is more like a like a free for all, freelance like where like the goal is just to finish the song yeah but like obviously you're trying to get the timing as perfect as, as possible. possible but then when you're in the studio a uh, huevo you have to be on some yeah, huevo. Not, you're re-recording but i had was under the impression that a recording or a studio album is like the best the group has to give yeah mm-hmm. not because you're doing the it best that the group could get you, other artists to you do. think you're taking it piece by piece by piece by piece every instrument is is, is putting their part individually like as in like a live recording or live performance, it's all together. So you think that kind of happens because a lot of artists just kind of learn off YouTube, like how I'm trying to learn, and I don't even know Escala, but I can kind of play a song. So then no, I wouldn't be able to record in studio, so they have to get somebody that like actually knows. Yeah, that could be the case. You just it, have to just always, all, always, everyone just has to always be on beat. Yeah, and it de- and also it depends. Like, um, there's some, some there's some, some people that are, are better in the studio. Mm-hmm. Then live, and there's people that are better live than in the studio. Uh, you know who's really good live, like on beat and, every, and everything? Uh, Kai 24. When oh, we yeah, saw they, me, they me really Jason good. were like pretty amazed. Like, dude, their timing is just really good. Like, everything, the pasadas. Yeah, I'm not going to lie. Um, Like I said, we we're going to be more open. I think the very first time I saw uh, Fuerza Regida and Kai 24, I was more impressed with the performance and the playability of Calle 24 than Fuerza. Honestly, I'm, I'm, I might admit it too. But the second performance by Fuerza Regida, though? It was better, yeah. It was really good. Too. It was really good. So, yeah, you know, there's pros and cons in, like, um, being an artist and being in a group. Damn, so... And the reason that they don't do, they don't just get, like, the best, the better player full-time is that maybe the other person has, like, more charisma on stage and that's kind of what sells at the end of the day. Mm-hmm. Maybe. Or, or maybe they're just, like, been in the group for a long time or something. So it's not like a ghost writer. It's like a ghost player. Yup. <laughs> maybe wow. maybe that that particular <laughs> artist doesn't... I mean, that particular, like, uh, player doesn't want, like to go on tour and they just like being in the studio. 
Oh, that's like, oh, another I'll, aspect I'll, too. I'll make my bread in the fucking studio. Yeah. Or oh, they probably make more money. Out. Like people that want to be like home and sleep in their own yeah, house exactly. every single day. Because like I, I, I know for sure like, no, no, never mind. I don't know for sure. But like I know from like other artists that touring is like a bitch. Mm -hmm. Damn, I guess that's cool. So I guess if you're good enough, you could just say, I'm only showing sure up for this and I'm going straight home. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah, well, like play the video of Ramon. Oh, yeah. We had to see. It. I haven't seen it. I think it's called Picolas. Que rollo, que rollo. Aquí su compa Ramon. Este, espero que se la estén pasando de lo mejor. Que todos. Pues andamos a gusto. Sus metas, sus sueños y todo, andan cumpliendo todo lo que se proponen, verdad? Yo aquí, este, ando con todos los ánimos del mundo. Este, sé que tal vez ustedes han mirado una foto que puso mi compa Alex ahí donde ya no salgo en, 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 la, en la foto, ¿verdad? pero este, nada más les quiero explicar de que todo bien, no me salí del grupo, este, no me sacaron ni nada, todo bien, este, yo y Alex empezamos el grupo desde cero y, y lo vamos a seguir este, haciendo todo lo que estamos haciendo, nomás muy diferente. Este, yo no voy a estar físicamente en las presentaciones, voy a estar detrás del proyecto haciendo muchas de las otras cosas que siempre estamos haciendo, ¿verdad? y aparte de eso este, pues está todo lo del Hombre Music, Entonces yo entro, entro en una nueva etapa de mi vida. Tengo 20 años en esto de la música, tocando on, de todo lo que se puede imaginar, de un, una barra, unos mariscos, a un nightclub, de todo. Entonces, este, y me ha tocado también cosas muy chingonas que logramos con el grupo, como un lugar ahí en el Queen Mary, cuando más de 15 mil personas estuvieron presentes. Un chingo de cosas chingonas compas que, que siento que son unos logros chingones para mí este lo, lo que ha hecho legado 7 y lo que todavía va a seguir haciendo son son este logros que nunca se me van a olvidar siempre van a estar en mí este pero no o sea, o sea, yo todavía soy parte del proyecto nomás que de una manera muy diferente este so esperen también un chingo de música ahí yo y Alex tenemos chingo de música guardada, un chingo de duetos, un chingo de música de lo que se puedan esperar de Legado 7. Sé que tal vez estos últimos, este año, el otro ha estado un poco calmado. Este, estábamos arreglando unas cosas, este, ahorita ya estamos listos para darle. Y como les digo, tenemos mucha música. Yo voy a seguir siendo parte del equipo, nada más haciendo diferentes tipos de cosas. Y también, pues, con Lumbre Music, que se vienen un chingo de... Chingo de... But yeah. <coughs> Damn. Probably since, like, they obviously have, like, you know, Yaritza. They have more responsibilities now because of the label, which I think that's a smart thing. Mm -hmm. Because, like I said, like, I kind of agree with what you said. They already did what they needed to do in terms of um, being artists. And now they could just, you know, make money and rack up. Bro, Lumbre Music is killing it with Yaritza. If they find one more group that... Is fucking popping, mm, dude. They're gonna yep. go next level. They'll be next level, and um, I think they should start I've, searching. I followed um, one of the people that work from from uh, Lumbre Music. I think his name is Brian Lumbre, and he tweeted that he's they're now distributing with the same distributor as Bad Bunny and other artists. So I feel like they're really doing it. I also heard Yarita signed to. So I heard, I heard. To WME? Am I wrong? WME? The same one as Nata? Yeah, I heard. I don't know. I sure. think so. I think you told us earlier. Right? Yeah, and if you guys don't know, a lot of artists are not signed. They're like agencies, booking agencies, but they're like next level. They're more organized. Not like, not they're more organized, but they're more of like. They're just next level. In the American business side of it. Instead yeah, I think of they're the Mexican. more American type of thing instead of. Cause I forgot who said. Oh, we're it was like, like to an agency. Yeah, we're yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, 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 shout out to my boy. Shout out to my boy Omar, Omar. Hey. and Josh and Josh. Omar, guys, the guys we are signed to see. Oh my yeah, god! Wait, honestly, one of the best agency. And who else does Omar represent? Grupo Firme ah, Grupo and Danny Firme looks. and Danny look. Grupo Firme just signed to CA. Like I'm telling you guys, this is like some next level shit. Like I, I don't really want to say much, but like he was just telling us how like. Group of Freedom is missing out like on a lot of money, and though I feel like in this like Mexican, how do I what do I call it? Mexican um the the space that the we're space in right now, business or whatever. Like they it's probably just go to a venue, you know, give us this much. We're gonna try to bring as much people as we can, but what they do is just like they go next level, like the yeah. sales of beer, like parking, just like a bunch of shit yeah, that yeah, you yeah, probably yeah. 
it's, it's more it's more developed because Mexicans only worry about selling those tickets, making sure that there's somebody sitting on that seat by the time the group starts playing. But Americans got it more figured out. It's like a more it's, it's like more a well loyaled machine of money making machine where everybody like, okay, well money. you like to drink on stage, okay, well you're gonna drink this Michael Ultra and you're gonna get paid this certain amount for drinking that. Yeah, and, and then, Grupo Firme is like missing out on what he told us, like Grupo Firme. And then plus, you know, like if they sell 10,000 beers, like we'll give you a dollar per beer plus that, you know. So it's it's a money-making machine that they got figured out that Mexicans don't have figured out yet. But we're going in the right direction with all these agencies that are stepping into the space. And it kind of goes to show more. that this genre is getting bigger, you know, because agencies like these are being more part of this. Yeah, base. you guys didn't know uh, not that signed to one of them. Which one? WME, uh, like I said, I think Yarita, I think I, I don't know, I'm pretty sure I feel like I heard of that. Uh, Danny Lux signed is signed to CAA. We Group actually, we actually share the same agent, yeah, yeah, um, with all three of them, all two of them, all three of them. Yeah. I mean, there's obviously like big people in the agencies too, like obviously like Becky G and stuff like that, but like when we're talking regional, like it's just those, and I think that's just like next level for them. Yeah, that's kind of crazy, like, dude, if the they sign it. Ivan. Oh. I, bro like I, I Ivan does not know how far he would fucking go if he signs I feel like like do they literally take care of all of them like dude you're number two you haven't two. had shows bro like they'll literally just fucking make you shit little money Omar hit up my boy Ivan we got you hit him up that bro, was a like, real talent we can open up a show together the doors <laughs> the doors <laughs> Remember when I told Nelly? Yeah. Like, oh, that, that, day, that day he was on fire. How are you? Uh, dude, not prendido. We were at Pedro's party. We got there late. So we were talking to his mom. And then we were talking about the show, like what we're going to do. And I was like, oh, Jason, like uh, he could open for a slabon. She's like, oh, see. Sí. I was like, no, pero las puertas. Yeah. And then oh, what else were we talking about? The ba bajista. Oh, the, you were the bajista? Oh, yeah, because we told we were in a grupo. And this fool was like, oh, el era el bajista. It's like, see, sí, como Brian? I was like, no, bajaba las cosas. <laughs> yeah. I, was, I got, I got to show uh, Nelly my song. She really liked it. It was really cool. Just to show someone like that, you know, a song of mine, you know? She was really nice about it. You gotta keep showing more people your music. Yeah, so guys, go check out Jason's music at Jason <laughs> underscore Nunes. Nunes. Uh, Nunes. Nunes. Well, right Say now, Nunez. why is your YouTube Nunes? I don't know. I just, I'm leaving it like that. Well, yeah, I'm going to keep dropping music. Shout out to all the supporters. I love you guys. Guys, please buy our merch. Shop AgustoBaba.com. This is a commercial sponsored by Agustobaba. Buy go, the stickers. Go buy a sticker. Get me at the trenches. Buy the stickers, guys. Please. Like, if you have an extra $5, please just buy the stickers. You With $5, $5 a day, you can, you can make Gecko happy. You no, they're not $5. He wanted with, them at seven with bucks. With only seven, seven dollars, bucks. you can help the chonchitos to see, not get out of the trip. The, the root as much. I think you asked me to put seven. And if you do it, the and if you think about it, grumpy, days yeah. out of the month, for 19 cents a day, you can make Keko. You can give Keko a warm bed and warm food. Please go buy at Agusto Pa. Make my payments. Ah, that's right, my boy. Your house payment. <laughs> Guys, we have like a merch. That wasn't really a merch shop, but we had, you know, it was just kind of like a new website. But the, mer the new merch that we got coming out is fucking fire. So mm -hmm. It's next level. We don't even have a design yet, but it's in my head. I have it. I have it's in your guys' head, too. It's just like your it mm -hmm. like Hopefully by next week. I actually need to buy a new computer. My shit keeps crashing, bro. It's just no, it's just off. a hard drive. You don't have space. Your computer's good. I just bought a new hard drive. Yeah, but you don't connect it. Every time you send me a picture, your laptop's that's, not connected. Yeah, that's the thing. You have to work <laughs> on the project. Like it's not just connecting drive. the hard drive and it's like, oh, it's on there. Like, it's still on your computer. <laughs> yeah. If anything, the hard drive is just slowing it down too. Take your hard, I bet he's not even using the hard drive. Like that shit's still full, uh, empty. Yeah, I don't know how to use it either, but I know that. Pónganse <laughs> pilas. Pilas. Si no, no vamos a salir adelante. I didn't send it in my, my YouTube application too. Guys, also for this channel, we obviously changed the name. You guys can see it's Agusto Papa. So it's going to be like a group channel. We're going to take out like these vlogs. I know. And they're going to be fucking fire. That's going to be really fun. I'm actually oh. really looking forward to They're not going to be weekly vlogs, but they're going to be like. Segment. Yeah, um, but when like mini movies, I want to see them as mini movies. And be like yeah. Jason dropping a song once a year. Ah, chill, guys! I have a really badass song coming out really soon, and uh, give a little look preview. Look forward to that. Give a little preview. You don't have your. <laughs> I have my phone right here. Play the one you put in your story. 
All right, guys, they got you guys. But upon that with the le- with the letter, where you there's see. a question right here. Kiko, you put what artist is gonna be the first artist to announce that they have fell off and haven't made the numbers that they were expecting? That was a that was a question I was thinking about. I just didn't remember how the fuck he, he said it. What was Angel's question? But he just gives them to you. Yeah, service dog. Just <laughs> <laughs> kidding, Angel. What do you want for dinner? <laughs> Damn. All right, guys, this is it. It's coming up. I just don't want to show this part yet. Just mute this part. Are you? This is my favorite song. Oh, I think we have to go on break or should we wrap it up super quick? Wrap it up right All right, now. Guys, thank you for, guys, thank you for watching t- towards the end. Don't forget that we're also on Spotify and Apple Podcasts. Maybe soon I'm just on one. Depends who pays. <laughs> just kidding. Oh, and we're also, not kidding. don't forget. Oh. Yeah, we're not kidding. Oh. And also, for, don't forget to shop at shopagustopapa.com or westcoastbeeplook.com. Come, come, <laughs> come, and, you, you know come how, and shop. Hey, you know some people think our merch is West Coast Bee Plug. Really? Yeah, because I put like, oh, send me a screenshot of your order, and they yeah, send a like, bro, I just ordered like for me, my uh, boyfriend, and I was like, wrong website, but thank you for buying from Angel. It's like wrong website, and they didn't know. Now nah, she knew what she was doing. She texted me too. She's like, oh, me and my boyfriend love your, yeah, love, love the podcast. Yeah, thank you guys. You guys took me out the trenches. I love you guys forever. Sheesh. Make sure to comment down below what artist you think is dying now. <laughs> <laughs> Call hey, them yeah. out. No, 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 oh, no. Call them ass nah. out. Call them ass out. I was going to back you up, but I'm not your service dog. So do, do, your, thing. do, your, thing. Right. do your thing. Do your thing. Do your thing. Go, go, go. Instead okay. of like comment down like your favorite part of the episode, comment down what artist comment is dying now. Comment down what artist is dying now so we can tag their ass in the next episode and call them out. Para que se pongan pilas. Para que se vengan bien cargados a la verga. Don't fucking fake your death, you fucking... <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, kidding, I actually texted Tony and he didn't reply. Oh, Tony, what the fuck, dick? Tony lawyer? 